It's time again for Film Focus. Here's Mike Labman with what's new in local theaters. We did it, we made it. Welcome everyone to 2019. All the best for the new year. And now that that's out of the way, we can get back to the movies. The year might have changed, but that's about it. Get ready for some sweet originals, some mind-blowing sequels, and for some drivel, of course. Because what would a good movie be without a bad one to go along with it? This week, this year in fact, we've got the sequel to 2012's Wreck-It Ralph, as well as a prequel to the Transformers series that's looking to take things way, way back to the series roots. So let's plug in, boot up, it's time to fly. Welcome to another edition of Film Focus. I'm Mike Lademan. Video game bad guy Ralph and best friend Vanellope Von Schweetz leave the comforts of Litwack's arcade in an attempt to save her game, Sugar Rush. Their quest takes them to the vast, uncharted world of the internet, where they rely on the citizens of the internet to help navigate their way. Lending a virtual hand are Yes, the head algorithm, and the heart and soul of the trend-making site BuzzTube. And Shang, a tough-as-nails driver from gritty online auto-racing game called Slaughter Race, a place Vanellope wholeheartedly embraces. So much so, that Ralph worries he may lose the only friend he's ever had. The original was funny, but the sequel is even more so, expanding its horizons with larger, more colorful adventures, while still focusing on the core cast of characters and bringing them to all new levels. The movie doesn't pander, doesn't simplify, and that's part of what makes it so great. A family film? Absolutely. What kind of a princess are you? Uh, Shouldn't it be Ralph wrecks the internet? Yes, yeah, since he is Wreck It Ralph. Ralph breaks the internet. On the run in the year 1987, Bumblebee finds refuge in a junkyard in a small Californian beach town. Charlie, on the cusp of turning 18 and trying to find her place in the world, discovers Bumblebee, battle-scarred and broken. When Charlie revives him, she quickly learns this is no ordinary yellow VW bug. Ah, heartwarming stuff, and seemingly a far cry from the intense, epic, over-the-top battles that characterize the last few entries in this series. So is this a new, smaller, more heartfelt Transformers movie? The Michael Bay movies seem to alternate between awesome and corny, depending on who you ask, but here, Bumblebee is consistently good from start to finish. The performances are spot on, and there's a surprising amount of depth for a movie that mixes 80 nostalgia with science fiction. This is a family movie that blends heart and action in unexpected ways, and is definitely worth your time. You must protect Earth and its people. You've got me. And I'm not going anywhere.